realised that my life is one big, which were amazing. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Like really comfy. Have just ordered a yeah. You heard that right? Some nice person that wants to come pick them up. I literally can't believe. <laughs> and I was a bit like, oh, I don't think I know what I ordered. We have had some snow. Torn it completely out. Quite disappointed. I've been like this since I was at school. That is just divine. Wish me luck. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. If you're new around here, please don't forget to hit subscribe um, and then you will hear when my new videos are going to go live. I have got a busy week as usual. If you're new to following, you will not realise that my life is one big marathon, I think, with so many things going on and me trying to fit in far too much. I um, have just got back from a really lovely stay. We went to um, a place called Hollington Manor on Friday night. And we stayed in the shepherd's huts, um, which were amazing. I've never stayed in the shepherd's huts before, but this was like another level. It was amazing. The, the quality and the fact it was so warm and so quiet, it was amazing. It was just lovely. So we had a really lovely Friday night there. And then we went out for a meal at a new place that's open called the motorist so if you're new to if you're around Yorkshire then have a look and google it if you've got any family that are interested in cars then it's definitely a place to go um the restaurant there was really lovely and they've got a shop it's just yeah really cool place so if you're into cars then totally recommend it um I've just been sorting out clothes for a photo shoot which I am doing this week um this is one of the shirts that's just arrived from Jules, and I really love it. It's kind of like a salmon-y orange colour. Um, it's really nice. It's got this pleating detail at the top here, and then it kind of goes down into a sort of shirt, normal shirt, that's what I'm trying to say. But it's really pretty. The cuffs on the sleeve are really pretty too. Really nice. Um, so, I'm trying to think what I've got coming up. At the end of the week, I am organising a, or I'm presenting, I should say, at a Instagram workshop. So this is one of the first kind of talking things I've ever done. I've been and I've planned and I've organised lots of them, but I've actually been asked to speak myself, which I'm slightly nervous about. Uh, but it was actually quite flattering to be asked. So I thought, yeah, why not? I kind of do know quite a lot of stuff now about Instagram. Uh, I have been doing it for years, um, so I feel like why not help other people? Um, so I am going to be speaking and doing a presentation, which I still need to write, at the end of the week. So that'll be exciting. I'll take you with me, obviously. And then I'm trying to think what we're doing. We've got dinners out and activities planned. It's all a bit random this week, uh, but I will take you along with my journey and show you um, what I'm up to. For now though, let me show you some other Jules things that have arrived that are in the shops right now that you can get. So I've just put this rail up so I can try and be organised for a shoot that I've got planned. Um, one of the dresses that has arrived is this one here, which is really pretty. That print is just gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. Uh, it's got the kind of neck which they've been bringing out for quite a few seasons now, this kind of neck line which i kind of have to have open so it creates more of a v for my shape it's got the drop waist here and then a fuller skirt but it's really really pretty let me see if i can find what it's called josie there we go josie you can see there and then this one which i love i love the print I'm a bit funny with some florals, but I actually really like this. So this is more of a kind of A-line dress. It kind of goes straight down with a little bit of a frill at the bottom. It's really pretty. It's got a neck kind of tie at the top, which I'll probably just leave open for me. Um, and then little frills on the sleeves and around the collar. It's just a really pretty dress. Really, really nice. I love the, the print. It's really like a pretty spring, a spring print. I'm saying this as it's hailing outside. So this one is called Ruby. So I've got both of these in a size 14. I would say this is probably gonna be quite generous, but hopefully it'll work well. 
I don't know what else. Oh, and this top came. Yeah, I've just had this on and it's really nice with jeans. So I had it on with some straight leg jeans and it works really well because it's quite wide. So I think you have to wear something quite tight on the bottom because it's more of a relaxed top. I love the print again on, the, on it. So it's kind of like stars, but very faint stars. Very nice. And then these are French Connection pieces, which I think I showed you last week. I still haven't tried that one on, so I can't recommend it yet. Another thing that has arrived, though, is this. So it is a Bowden jacket, but it feels very waterproof. So it's almost like a take on a trench coat, but it's cropped, so it's quite small. It's in the shops now. I don't know what you would call it, though. Cotton trench, I think it's just called. But it feels very thick and very waterproof. It's got some nice rouging detail around the cuffs and then all the buttons, which are all covered up. I need to take those off. Those are the buttons here, which are really lovely. They're kind of like a blacky brown color. Very nice. Um, so I will try that on this week and show you what it looks like. But I just wanted to show you these pieces while I could. I'm gonna go and get on with some editing that I've got to get finished um, before the kids get home from school so I can send that to a client um, and then I will probably be back on here now tomorrow. I have just been trying on some clothes for a photo shoot. Unfortunately I think this is just too tight. I can feel it here. Um, so it's French Connection, it's new in at the moment and I really like it but it's just a bit gapy here. This is the problem with having a big bust. You have to go up a size. And then if you're petite, it just doesn't really work either. But it's quite, I love the dress. It's quite nice. It's quite kind of floaty, summer vibes. It's got the little cap sleeves, which I think are really pretty as well. It's such a shame. I just think, I just think it might be a bit too tight here. Uh, I need to lose some pounds, don't I? Mm, what a shame. I really like it though. Wondering if I could try and suck myself in even more just to get it, get it not looking as tight. But yeah, I do really like that. I think with like summer sandals, I think that'd be really nice. Anyway, I'll try on some other dresses and show you now. So I've got on a new cruise clothing dress. It's kind of a um, t-shirt material, like really easy to wear. Uh, very comfortable, like really comfy. No gaping, which is good. Don't tend to normally like wearing things up high, but I think if I had a necklace on with this, it might work quite well. Um, I'm gonna team it with a um, denim jacket that I've got, which I really like. Um, so this is a new for Jules as well. Oh, I'm feeling summery already with my denim jacket on. I'll just roll up the sleeves and then I can show you it done. So, here we go. If I go back here, you should be able to see it with trainers. I think it works quite well with trainers. This is actually a really nice, easy dress. It's got like a ditzy floral feel to it. I've got another one from Crudy Clothing that I just want to try on to see whether that will work as well with this jacket. So again, I think this needs a necklace of some sort. It's really pretty print. It's kind of like a blue with a little bit of pale pink coming through. This is new on the Jules website as well. Again, I'd probably put this with a denim jacket because it's quite it's kind of summery. It's got a really nice long skirt to it. If I go right back here, you should be able to see the trainers coming through. But I think this is gonna be a really useful dress for summer coming, hopefully. Spring is definitely on its way. Good morning, I'm out on my walk. I look absolutely dreadful, hence the sunglasses. And I've got about 10 layers on because it's freezing. Apparently down south, uh, it's snowing everywhere. Of course, we have no snow. No snow at all. Apparently it's coming tomorrow though. I hope so. Although I don't know if I really want it because it's freezing enough already. But lately, when we've had snow, basically everywhere has had it, even part other parts of Yorkshire, and we haven't. So the kids are really like it. I'm just listening to a podcast, doing my work, and I've got my coffee with me. I really need to speed up. So today, I have a very exciting day. Oh, wait for it. 
I really need to do work, which is the story of my life. But we, wait for it, have just ordered a Peloton. Yep, you heard that right. Me, the one that hates exercise, I literally hate it more than anything ever. I just hate it. I don't enjoy it when I'm doing it. Don't enjoy it afterwards. Don't feel great afterwards. I just hate it. I hate doing it. I hate the thought of it. It's awful. So I don't quite know why we're doing this, but it's been one of these things where we've been like, we should get one. We should get one. And then we never get one. And they are very, very expensive. So we have always just gone, no, no, we'll be fine. We don't need one. And it's kind of got to the stage now where it's like, we need to do something. We have got a little gym in our garage that my husband built in lockdown. And um, it basically has a running machine in, which is piled up with clothes to sell for vintage. And I think it's got some rabbit food in there and a load of rubbish. So I really think we ought to use it. It's actually a really nice space to use. So my plan today is to clear it all out because this thing could apparently arrive in two days or three weeks who knows um but i want to really use the space properly and the garage wait for it is an absolute tip it's actually embarrassing basically all winter we just sort of open up the door and throw stuff in it so you can't actually see in it it's a big double garage you can't see anything because it's just filled with rubbish so Today, I'm going to clear out the garage and bless Melissa, my lovely au pair, who's also my PA, is going to help me. She obviously didn't volunteer herself, I just said, please help me. So we are going to do that together. Yes, um, I've got my arm aches from doing that, seeing how fit I am. Um, so yeah, so we're going to clear the garage out. We've got so many um, clothes that need to go to charity, clothes that need to go to my sister. Yeah, we've got so many clothes that need to go to different places. Uh, my sister has a lot of the kids, in fact, all of the kids' clothes, and they go through about six kids by the time they get to Flora. So she's the littlest. And uh, so we are clearing, we're gonna clear all that. We've got all the decorations in there. We've got an old Christmas tree. Honestly, it's pretty, it's a pretty bad sight, actually. I'm embarrassed that it's got that bad. Um, so we're going to have a clear out because basically, apparently, it's going to snow tomorrow and I won't be able to get a bike in there unless I do this. So that is my mission to do. So let's see how I get on with it. <laughs> I'm dreading this. And then I have a photo shoot that I need to edit and I need to sit and edit this afternoon and just get on with that. So that is my mission for today. I will of course take you with me and show you the mess, the embarrassing mess. And um, hopefully you will be able to see progress and then laugh at me on a bike. Right, we're just about to head out. I'm gonna try and do a time lapse so you can see the state of it. It's actually snowing now. So part of me feels like I should just not bother doing it, but I've not bothered doing it for about eight months. So I feel like this is the time I need to get out there and do it. So I'm going to go now in the snow with my coffee and try and sort out the garage. I really can't be bothered. Anyway, right, I'll take you with you. It's so cold out there. I was just about to say good morning, but it's not morning anymore, it's afternoon. 
I've had a really manic day. I have been running around. I run a play group, as you know, on a Thursday. So I've been running around trying to organize things for that. Got back and then started to open my emails and I haven't stopped. Um, I was gonna go out and head out for a walk, but if you don't know, if you're not in England and following me, we've got snow everywhere, apparently, apart from here. So we did wake up to some snow this morning and I was like, oh yes, it's gonna be snowy. But no, it's turned into like drizzle. Apparently schools in the nearest town to us are starting to close though because the snow's so bad, but yeah, there's no snow here. So I would quite like to just get some snow so that we can get the sledge out and go and do some snowboarding, snowboarding, sledging. But equally, I just want the snow to be over so we can actually have some warmer weather. I'm so fed up with this weather. It's absolutely freezing out there. I have just, I've literally taken this off because I wanted to show you the dress, but I've been wearing two jumpers <laughs> over the top. I've got on that Jules dress. I love it. It's really, really nice. Really, really comfortable to wear. I don't know about this whole tie thing though. I mean, what do you do? Just tie it. I think you're just meant to just have it like that. I think, I'm not sure. Anyway, I do quite like it. It's really nice. It's nice fabric. It'd be much nicer if it was warmer though. You have to purchase it for warmer days, I think. I've written some notes here because I always forget what I'm going to say uh, and then come on and don't really say very much. I've got a few new things that I want to show you that have arrived for different things that I'm working on at the moment. You would have seen yesterday we did do the garage. It didn't look like we finished it, but we did do most of it. I've just piled a load of stuff in the garage for charity. So we... I've, I've got a big pile for my sister with for all her kids. Um, I've got a pile that I might sell, I'm not sure. I've got like uh, a train table that we don't play with, lots of random stuff like that. And I thought maybe I could try and sell them or just give them away if I can find some nice person that wants to come pick them up. I've got a bed to sell, I've got random stuff. And then I've got about, I think I just loaded up about six bags for the charity shop. So I popped in yesterday, I spoke to the charity shop lady and she was like, yes, We've got hardly anything at the moment. I was like, really? What's going on? I think people in January do their spring clean and get rid of stuff and then they don't bother now. I don't, I think it's over that bit until maybe the weather gets better, I don't know. Anyway, I said, well, I've got loads for you. Um, bits and pieces um, and then loads of clothes. So she was very pleased. So I'm gonna go down and see her and drop all these things off. I was also going to say, what was I gonna say? Oh, photo shoot, yeah. I'm going to show you some products um, of what I am working on next week, but I've got stuff here now that's arrived. Um, some of it is from the White Company and some of it is some Charlotte Tilbury products because you know how a massive fan I am now. I literally can't believe how much I love it. So I've got it on now. I've got all the makeup on. I don't know if this light's very good. Um, but I just really like it. I really love the foundation. The Beauty Flash, what's it called? Like primer is amazing. Really, really like that. Um, so I've been using that. I've been using my concealer and then my foundation over the top. I'm finding it's lasting a really long time, like the longest I've had for foundation for ages. So totally recommend it if you're looking for a long lasting foundation then head over to charlotte tilbury and have a look there they've sent me a new product that's just come out um so i want to show you that in a minute and then also what do i want to show you oh the products yeah let me go do that so first up let me show you this is the new product that's come out it is called the magic body cream so those of you that have heard of this cream before so this is just their magic cream for your face they have now brought out a body cream too i was a bit skeptical about this mainly because of the price and i was a bit like oh i'm not sure about it but i really like it i think it's a really nice cream i was recommended by one of the beauty um makeup artists i should say in charlotte tilbury when I was in there the other day, I said, oh, they said, what primer are you using? I said, oh, I'm using this. And they said, right, what you need to do is really work it into your skin so it's actually worked in. And when you use it, you'll know what I mean, rather than just quickly putting it on, which is what I would normally do with a moisturizer, which I kind of feel like this is slightly. I put my moisturizer on, my other moisturizer, wait about five to 10 minutes if I've got time. 
then I apply this and then I really work it in and I find that it gives a really nice base there. I'm not sure whether it's that that's helping the foundation on or whether this foundation is anyway just as good without it, but the two seem to be working really well. So they brought out this magic body cream and it smells amazing. I was trying it out yesterday when it arrived, but it's it's really nice. It just smells, ooh, ooh, it just smells like luxury. Oh, it's so nice. Really, really nice. I've got a feeling I'm gonna be using this all summer. Oh, I love that. So also they sent some um, face products too. I haven't used these, so I can't recommend them yet, but I want to show you. So we've got this one, which is a cleanser and it smells really lemony. So I, my au pair tried it out last night and she said, it's really nice. You feel like you're really cleaning your skin and taking the makeup off. It's like quite oily. Um, so I'm gonna try this out and I'll come back and tell you whether I recommend it or not. But that came and then this one, which is like a charcoal cleansing, I would say a mask, but do they call it a mask? It's a bamboo charcoal skin purifier that draws out impurities through natural power of absorption. That sounds really good. So I'm gonna try these out tonight, see what they're like. It comes with a little muslin cloth thing that you can wet, so it's all stiff now, but as soon as it's wet, it will be, you know, soft, so you can take it off. But these are just some of the things that have arrived from Charlotte Tilbury, so I wanted to show you those. Let me show you the parcel from the White Company now. So I've just quickly peered in the box, but I haven't actually looked at it properly, and I've piled other things on. So my plan next week is to do a tablescape on here for Easter. Um, so I've been collecting lots of different Easter things. These are quite cool. They're like little plastic eggs, but with speckles on. I imagine that they're kind of for crafting, but they're, they're Amazon. But I thought what I could do is add them to the table display somehow. So I seem to have bought millions. There's some bigger ones here. I always do this on Amazon. I buy the wrong size or too many. Or... Anyway, so I've got those as little props. Oh, and these tea towels, which I also had. So these are from a company called Rainy and Humble. It says designed in Australia, but I really like the print. So they're, they're, um, they're from our local kind of gift shop and I've never heard of the make before, but I just thought they were rather pretty. So this one came in a pack of two with another one here. Um, and I just thought they might be nice to use for the photo shoot next week too. So I might combine that somehow. Then in my white company box, let me have a look. So I have got some bits to set up a tablescape. So I won't show you it all because it might be boring. These are placemats. They're reversible, which I really like. So you've got kind of stripe on one side and then you've got kind of a pattern on the other. Um, should I try and open them? Hold on and show you. Will it open? Yeah. Um, I just thought these were quite nice. I saw them when I went into, oh, they're in a two, sorry. I saw them when I went into a into the shop the other day, but I think they're really cute. So I've got a few of those to set up for the tablescape. They look very kind of spring and Easter, just very fresh, really nice. I don't have any fabric placements, so I thought they'd be really good. What else is in here? Um, well, it's all kind of wrapped up. Let me just go through it. It's all a bit random as well. A little vase. That's very cute, isn't it? Really sweet. So um, my plan is to get some daffodils maybe from the garden and put a few in here for spring and photos and that sort of thing. I love that. Really nice vase. Um, and then there's a mug as well. This is all from their new range on the White Company at the moment. So, oh, is, what's this called? The Hampton Mug Natural. They did have one with a heart on, and I was like, oh, I'm not sure about that. This is quite a chunky mug, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be so thick. I think it'd be a good, maybe like a soup mug or something like that. Quite like it, though. Quite a nice mug. Maybe it's a good coffee mug, I'm not sure. What else have I got in here? I've got some napkins. Now, I meant to order these in blue, 
and they seem to be white, which is a bit annoying actually, because I wanted them to go with the table mats. But anyway, so I bought some nice linen mat napkins. Are they linen? I presume they're linen. You can wash them. Wash the colours separately. I'm not sure if they they look like linen, but I'm not sure maybe they if they are. Um, uh, what else is in here? Oh, some decorations for my Easter tree, which I love. So these are always useful. Um, and to be honest, I've tried to make some in the past with clay, and they just look not as nice and they're pretty rubbish. I mean, it's quite good fun to do with the kids when you get the air drying clay. I don't know how to do it. Oh, there we are. Um, but I just thought, do you know what? Actually, I'm just going to get some like this that are perfect to go on. So they're just little ceramic hearts like that. They're really cute. They kind of bring them out for Christmas and Christmas, I think they have more stars, but these I thought were quite sweet for my little Easter tree. So I'm going to use those on the tablescape too. Then what else have I got? I've got, oh, these were quite interesting. I thought they're a bit odd. I'm not sure what you do with them. I think, oh, are they all attached? I think they're all attached together. So there's only three as well. You would have thought things come in four. That's a bit random. What do they actually call it? Let's have a look. A nest basket, natural seagull. Maybe I could put some of my eggs in them. I'm not, I mean, this is really random. I'm not sure why. I think in the picture, maybe they had some glass, a glass in it, but still that'd be a bit random. I think they're just baskets. I'm not sure about those. So that, what else? I've got this t-shirt in here. I wanted a fitted white t-shirt but I don't think this is actually fitted, so I'm not sure it's actually gonna work at all. So that I bought that to try. Um, and also I've got, there's some pajamas in here. So these are in at the moment. They are, their heart pajamas, so they're little short sets for summer. But I thought they were quite cute and be really useful actually to have a nice short, like a short pet set of pajamas. So I'm gonna, I hopefully love these, so I'll keep these. Oh more details again these were really random but i really like the print can you see they're just like a gorgeous illustration of vegetables and fruit i hope they do more with this kind of range because i think it's really lovely eat the season eat eat the season's tea towels i couldn't see anything else with this print but i actually think it's really cute let's get it out and i'll show you They actually feel quite thick and nice to use. I hate tea towels that don't feel like that. Look, that's really nice, isn't it? Really pretty illustrations. I wonder if they're exactly the same. I think they're different. That one's got an onion, this one's not got an onion. Anyway, I really liked those. I just thought they were quite useful to have. We've got really, either really old tea towels that got massive holes in, or they're just really grim. And not very nice so i do really like those i put those together so there's a set of two different ones what else it was a really random order i was looking to see what they had new on oh this is really random i really wanted a lemon squeezer but one that was more decorative um, we've got an electric um orange thing that goes around when i don't know when it was the fashion to make your real orange juice which is absolutely delicious I should do that more, shouldn't I? Because that is really, really tasty. It tastes so good. So in the summer, we like to cut cut oranges and squeeze them and all that. I say that, I have tried to get my husband to do it because it's such a faff, but it is good if you can be asked to do it. Um, this, I thought, I'm my plan is I want a shelf and I want to have things on display like this. So my plan was to get something like this that could go on display. And I haven't been able to find a really nice white one that works. So um, yeah, I love that. It's a nice size. It's really good. I can't remember what else I've ordered. I think that's it. No, what's this? Oh, this is really random. What do they call it? A spoon rest. I mean, is that a thing? 
I was like, oh, I don't know what happened to it. I think I must have been ordering this in my sleep because it's so random. Um, this, I always find it really annoying when you put your spoon down and then it goes on the work surface and it's just really irritating. It's like, I really want to get one of those tea bag places where you put your tea bag off your tea, put it on. Um, and really, why do I need one? Because I just need to put it in the bin. And it's a pointless thing that I'll use for about five minutes and then go, why did I get that? This seems like it might be a bit the same. Um, but my husband really makes cups of tea, which is very rare, only at the weekend, because I'm the only one that has it. And they're the worst cups of tea ever. Like, he just can't make a cup of tea. I think if you're not a tea drinker, you can't make tea. And it's just horrible. And I don't ever want to be really rude, but it's just like, I might as well get out of bed and make my own. But I haven't ever said that to him in 14 years. So I just drink the tea right in the cabinet sink. I don't know why I'm whispering. Yeah, it's horrible. Anyway, he just throws the tea bag in the sink. So if I had like a little tea bag, place to put the tea bags, it might work. No, maybe not. So yeah, that's a pointless buy. I'm not sure. I think, yeah, that's random. And then, is that it? I thought I ordered egg cups. I don't think I know what I ordered. Did I not order egg cups? What's that? Maybe this is them. No, it's not. What is this? Well, this is not what I thought I'd ordered. I thought I ordered egg cups. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my order. That was the point of the order. They're rather nice, aren't they? Napkin rings. Beautiful. I love that. Very nice. So those are lovely. Um, what on earth am I? Hmm. I honestly thought I'd ordered some funny. I'm going to have to go in there and try and get some because that's what I wanted. What have I done? Um, so this, this is, I think this is just some more different decorations. Yeah, they're like this. I just thought they were rather cute to put on my Easter tree, which I don't have any branches for and I haven't made yet. So there we go. I think, and then all in, in here, I think I've just got some bowls and that's it. So where are the... Oh, God, I don't believe it. Where are the whole of the egg things? Who knows what I've done. I'm gonna have to go shopping I'm going, luckily. So Saturday, we've decided we've got a free day for once. We never have a free day ever because we've got always got activities, parties. It's just manic always. People stay, you know, it's just crazy. So we've decided to all take one child each and do an activity, which we've never really done before. I kind of talk about it and then I never do it. But last week or two, a couple of weeks ago, I took Phoebe shopping and I think Matilda really would love to come shopping with me. So we are going to have a day, me and Matilda. We're gonna go and head into town, have lunch and go and do a little bit of shopping for her and just spend some time with her. I'm gonna get her to come and obviously look for these egg things now. And then my husband's actually going to take Phoebe to randomly to Durham on the train. I, I kind of thought he might go to the cinema or something like that, but no, he's going to go and do like a day activity with her, which I think is really nice. They never spend any time together. If they do, it's like in a car journey or something. So I think it'd be really nice for them to do that. So they're off there. And then Rafferty is going to spend, well, the day, it won't be the day, it'll be lunchtime in a few hours in the afternoon with my our lovely au pair. And they've got football in the morning and then they're going to go to do some pottery painting and go out for lunch. So I'm hoping that this works and one day, when we have another free weekend, which won't be forever, we can swap around and do different activities with different children. I always feel like I don't spend enough time with them, so I'm hoping this will be good and good for my conscience. Conscience. Let's see. Anyway, I need to go. I need to go and finish off some emails, finish off some editing, and get ready to go and do the school pickup. This morning I took the rabbit into school to meet the reception class, which was rather hilarious. Yeah, really bizarre. My little boy had been asking me to take the rabbit in and I kept saying, really? I'm not sure about this. Anyway, uh, eventually I emailed the teacher and said, look, yes, can I bring this rabbit in? Apparently everyone's bringing their pets in. She, yes, yes, of course. Little did I know that everybody else was bringing in something quite exotic, like a snake, 
a beard head, head leopard, not not leopard, lizard or something. Um, what else? Some frogs, a tortoise. So I took in Cottontail. So I, I hope that he enjoyed the experience. It was quite random and bless her. She, I think she, she was just like, what is going on? Um, she sat really well actually. Um, so it was actually quite a nice thing to do and see the people in his class as well. It was lovely. So I've had a really busy morning running around that I need to now catch up. So I've filled you in with everything that's arrived. Uh, next week you should see hopefully some of this um, on this table for a tablescape. I'll just show you the table because it's all out with its leaves in it. So can you see, it's a really bad example. So the table, I take, not the chairs, don't look at the chairs. The table, I totally recommend. This is from a company called La Residence. It's the same company as the poof thing here that I've got. Don't look at all the mess over there. Um, and each one of these comes out. Can you see here? So you've got the lines here and here. So there's four in total. So I could actually extend it again if I wanted to, which is great for this room because you can just fill the whole room with the table. So if you're having a really big dinner party, it's perfect. Normally we either have it as a round table or we just have one of the leaves in. We have had some snow, not a great deal of snow. Um, the kids have just been out here, so they've been having a snowball fight. About that much. It's not like loads compared to everywhere else, but we have had some snow, which is good because lately we haven't had any snow when everyone else has had snow. So I'm quite pleased that we've had some snow. I don't think it's going to last though, sadly, because... Um, it looks like it's going to be sunny all afternoon, so it's all going to go by the time we get back from school. I think loads of people have got snow days where there's actually, uh, the school is closed, so they've got to come. They're all at home, that's what I'm trying to say. But mine are at school. So hopefully the snow will come back though, so they can actually have a day off in the snow. Not sure, this looks like an interesting snow angel, doesn't it? Not sure what's going on there. Anyway. I am pleased. Oh, look at the little daffodils. That's so sweet. Um, yeah, I'm pleased that we've got some and they have enjoyed it. I think there'll be, might be a little bit at school by the time they get there. But hopefully it'll be back to see us in Yorkshire. So do you remember last week when I said he has torn out the old shower here's the old shower there just on the balcony now just randomly there well he has now torn it completely out and he started to build a shower so i think i don't really know i think that is a water pipe is that what he's doing i mean look at that i don't really know what he's doing he's he turned off the water last night and put some pipes in i think that's the pipe i mean i presume that's going to be cut back i don't really know i don't like to question um his work at all i mean what's that bit what's that i don't know is that where the shower bit goes i don't know he's obviously never oh he had a lie he has done a shower he did a shower downstairs and he used google those that don't know, his day job is a surgeon, so he doesn't actually know how to do a bathroom. So this is our little bathroom. I'm as back as I can, so I've got the toilet behind me, and we're actually going to put a new sink in because this sink's so tiny, it's pointless. This is for a light, I think, a light with a mirror. I'm not really sure. I mean, what's that? I don't really get. I just can't really question anything. Anytime I say something, he's like, Whoa. so I'll just leave it. It always turns out all right. It's this bit that kind of scares me and makes me think, oh my gosh, why don't we just get someone in to do it? The reason is why we don't. Every time I get quotes, I'm shocked at the price. That's the main reason. Secondly, I think he secretly enjoys it. And he quite, he gets a lot from going, oh, look, I've done the bathroom. And people go, oh, you did the bathroom. He's like, yeah, so he does like that. Um, 
also like the materials everything's really everything is really expensive so we're really like shopping around and doing it budget style um and then my job is to make it look nice and expensive so my job today is to try and find tiles and i keep showing him tiles he's like too expensive too expensive i'm like oh, okay um so i can't really find any nice cheap tiles if anyone's got any ideas please put them below of uh, where i can go for a tiles um because at this rate i'm gonna get ones that look like the old tiles up there and this is the thing he's always in a massive rush last night i said to him we've lived with our shower a horrible shower here for the last four three four years i can't remember how much for that long and now he's suddenly ripping it out we need to find tiles by next week because he needs to do it all I'm like, why the rush? Because it can't stay like that. And I was like, well, it stayed like the other way for years. Why are we suddenly like, oh, we've got to do the shower. He gets on this kind of, mm, it's really weird. Anyway, so this is the kind of state we are living in at the moment. Look, I've got, la I've got I'm not joking, I've got four jumpers on. <laughs> I'm about to go out in the snow and um, take some photos. I think I'm gonna take my camera and go down to the river. So I will take you with me, but I wanted to show you this before I go. Pray for me that this turns into a nice shower. So I've just headed out and there's actually not that much snow here. Everybody's messaging me going, we're snowed in. I'm like, really? Like, oh, quite disappointed. I've even got my camera hoping to get some shots and what can I take this I mean I suppose that does look quite pretty but mm, I was expecting something else maybe it's just kind of gone off the footpath maybe up by the village it might be a bit more happening I'm not impressed and then I think the sun's coming this afternoon so it's all just gonna melt isn't it we never get it properly it's really weird it's looking a bit more wintry. I think there's a, a photographer over there gone out. I've never seen really anyone on the other side. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. I mean, why is that all green there? It must be a shelter from the trees, must be. But there's some snow there. It's quite pretty through there. But it's pretty much gone on this side. Um, and it's absolutely freezing. So glad I've got my coffee with me. Oh my gosh, can you hear the wind? Oh. So there isn't that much snow. <laughs> I'm quite disappointed, really. It's it is coming down, but it's not obviously going to stay now. I've taken zero photos because there's no snow. <laughs> Oh, I've just been um, chatting to a lady about the magnolia tree. I can see the buds on it. It is coming. I love that magnolia tree. It's the most glorious tree in the village, I think. Apart from, well, actually, there is a, a blossom tree a bit further along, which is rather nice too. Um, it's looking quite pretty in the snow, but it's obviously not going to settle, is it? Good afternoon. I am working on this presentation. I've never really done anything like this since I was at school, so I'm a bit thinking why have I said yes? But anyway, there is a really nice group of girls coming to listen to Chelsea's talk, um, and then I'm doing like a, a tiny section of it. Um, so I've, I did start off doing this presentation, I'm doing it on Canva by the way. If you don't use Canva or know Canva, then you need, let me try and show you Canva. I love it. Oh, what's the Canva? Canva. I make all my posters or anything on this. You can just type down here any social media posts. I totally recommend it. In fact, I need to write that. I've just recommended a load of things. Stories unfold. Let me just type Canva. Otherwise, I'm going to forget Canva on that. My notes. These are my notes here. But so I've just put it into this. So you can type in at the top presentation, for example um oh look there we go and then up comes loads of templates so some of them are paid can you see the little sign there paid they're really not very much money so you could pay for one i think i've just gone for this one it's like a minimalist one i did have an all singing dancing one a bit like this and 
yeah I was just like this isn't really me it was quite cool um but it was very busy and I was just like do you know what I need to be more consistent with my brand uh, which is very much like my website so my website I I know how do I do it simply Caroline there we go this is my website if the computer will work here we are so it's kind of it's quite clean it's quite white so we've got the white background we've got all the the blog posts i've just written this blog post actually this was about friday night remember when we stayed in the shepherd uh, shepherd huts so we've just finished that that was the food really good food and these were the shepherd huts they were so cute so that was friday night so i've just sent that off to the people that were organizing it so they can see it and then these are photos from the event it was really nice it's just a really lovely evening the the staff was so lovely really really friendly so anyway and then on here i've also got a discount where i can get to it where is it if you would like to go so read this blog i have a 10 percent discount if you mention my name um on the huts or in the restaurant so i think that's a really good thing if you are interested at all in going up there so i'm working on my my presentation here i've just done where to find me on my website and all these sorts of things I kind of have written far too much on my notes and I've gone over what I'm supposed to be doing so I'm not really sure I think I've just done too much and I've only got I think about 40 minutes or less half an hour um also don't want to bore them so I'm just going to keep it quite brief I'm going to keep my notes if it if it's kind of like a chatty group I might ask them to ask questions and things like that maybe that's what I'm thinking Anyway, so I'm just doing that now um, before they all get home from school. And then it must be, I was going to say wine or Prosecco time. It definitely must be that. Uh, I'm sure it is. I'm going to go and get some and put it in the fridge now. I don't think we've got any in our fridge. We've got a wine fridge that my husband keeps turning off because he's like, we don't need this on in the week. We're not drinking wine. We need to save energy. So we, we basically turn off everything we don't use. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I finally tidied up the mess in here, got rid of all of this. <laughs> I have to put it in here though. Got some lovely new things that I really want to show you, but I will probably do that next week now. Eek, let me just show you this. I'm so excited. I'm really, really happy about this. So this is from my favorite brand at the moment, Hobbs. I don't know what it's called actually. What is this called? I saw this, you know, remember when I went to that spring summer launch, the Sophie Trench, look at that colour, oh, that is just divine, I love that. So, yeah, it's just basically a beautiful trench cake, but it's so nice. I've gone for a 16, I probably could have done a 14, but I was thinking if I'm going to wear this, I'm probably going to be wearing layers, and so I'm hoping it'll be alright, I'm not sure, I haven't even tried it on, I just, was, just love the colour. I really like this. I've just sent some paint to my husband to show him a colour that I was thinking for the bathroom and I bet he's gonna go, are you nuts? It's kind of like this, but more brown. Anyway, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, I've just been laying all this out and I've just been sent these. I'll show you these all next week. How gorgeous is that? The detail on that is just beautiful really really nice that's stunning i love it um and then a few other pieces from hobbs up there and some lovely summer shoes oh i can't wait to show you those anyway let me show you the tidy lounge Doo -doo -doo. sort of tiny the cushions need a good puff up a karate top don't they they need a big Choo -choo. so tonight i think my husband and me a we myself sorry are why are there look there's kids toys over there i haven't seen those what are they doing there this is a kid free zone that's that was the plan it's not really happening we are going to head out i think we're going to go for a thai meal uh we normally get a thai takeaway but we have got a lovely babysitter tonight so we were like let's do something nice I've moved the table up here, pushed it all back, so it's actually much better. So we've got the table there, I've taken the leaves out. Excuse this, this is for his drilling for the bathroom. This is his saw. I think this is his best thing that he loves. So he's been sawing something, bits of wood or something. So that is the pile for the bathroom. And then, oh, some tea towels. 
I really need to get, I think here would lend itself well, because this space now is really quite big, a corner sofa. It just feels a bit distanced from the fire. We could push it all forward and have more of a gap behind, but because we've got that weird banister there with the steps, or oh, sorry, there, it just doesn't really work. So I'm thinking like a corner sofa to bring it all in together. But then I don't know where this perf thing would go, and I love that perf, so I don't know. Anyway, oh, it's just lots to think about. But yeah, the kitchen looks, well, I was going to say it looks tidy. It doesn't really, does it? Uh, it's a bit of a mess. We're just sorting out stuff for tea. I think we're going to do pizzas. The snow has all gone, so they're not going to be happy when they get back. No playing in the snow. Right, I'm going to go and find my Prosecco. <laughs> so I've got some for the fridge. And then I probably need to finish off that that presentation. Get my husband to check it tonight. Check there's no spelling mistakes, because that is usual for me to have all these spelling mistakes. And then I'm going to head and get ready for going out. Oh, and these came. Aren't they gorgeous? And this, this is all new on the Hobbs website. So nice, I'm not sure what this is. That's really random, isn't it? Anyway, I will show you what I get up to later on. But for now, let's find my Prosecco. Where is it? Uh, oh, there's some here in the off fridge. I'm gonna go and put it in the one fridge that is actually on. I've got an appointment on Monday. So those of you that can't remember or didn't watch, the I went to have my eyebrows um, laminated. And when I went there, she was like, you really need to grow them here and further in here. So she was like, she said to me, what you need to do is just not pluck them. I was like, God, yeah. So I've done, plucked all here and here and here, obviously. And then I'm hoping this is, you can see it's slowly growing back. So I look, people are like probably thinking, what am I doing with my eyebrows at the moment? But I'm hoping it'll be worth it. I'm going on Monday, so I'm hoping she'll be able to tidy them up and sort out my lashes. I've got a few loose ones that haven't been looking after them. I'm rubbish. This is the problem when you have eyelash extensions, you really need to comb them through, look after them. And I don't. Um, so I need to do that. Anyway. Today, I'm heading out to Leeds. I'm going shopping with my middle daughter. I have not been shopping with her before, ever. She said, yes, we have. We went to Claire's Accessories once, and I was like, oh yeah, we did. We never have time one-on-one, -on -one, so this is the first time we are going properly shopping just together. Everybody else has left. We've had a really slow morning. She's getting fed up with me because I'm doing my hair and doing my makeup and taking too long. So um, we're going to head in. She would like to go to the Leeds United shop. Wish me luck. And then she's not really sure. So we're going to have a look in H&M, Primark. We'll do all the kind of usual, um, I was going to say teen shops. She's not really a teen. She's nine. She acts like she's 19 though. So I'm sure we'll find some bits and pieces that hopefully she will like. We're not really going with any purpose. Um, I'm, but... I don't normally shop, I always shop online, so it's actually quite nice to do something. It's a really nice day out there. I want to head to H&M Home to see if I can get anything for my shelves in there. And maybe Marks and Spencer's Home. There aren't that many home shops, are there? The Zara Home, which I don't know if is there anymore. I need to go and check. So there, maybe John Lewis, I'm not sure. I want to have a few a brows at that. I want to go and have a look for a new eyebrow pencil. My HD one has completely run out and I've just gone to buy it again and it's £17 and I just think surely there's a cheaper alternative. So I'm going to have a search for a really thin eyebrow pencil. I do really like it though and I always go back to it. Um, I've had it, I've got it up here because I've just been looking at it. It's called, uh, it's a bestseller. Yeah, I know it's a bestseller. Oh, sorry, it's £19 on the website. It's called Brow Tech Slim Eyebrow Pencil. I, I I do recommend it. It's totally amazing. But I feel like £20 for an eyebrow pencil, which I looked up. I bought it in January. It doesn't last very long. So I think I'm going to see if I can find a cheaper, thinner alternative if I can get to the big boots. They've got big boots there. And then tonight we're out for dinner. We're going to some old university friends. 
um, which is really nice. We don't, we always seem to be hosting at the moment, so it's actually really nice to be invited out. I must get some flowers while I'm out, or something, or chocolates. And, and then tomorrow I am doing my talk, which I showed you a bit yesterday. Got my husband to check it this morning for spelling mistakes. And he was like, have you got some notes to go with it? I said, yes, and then I showed him the notes which don't really make any sense, but hopefully they will to me tomorrow. So I need to print those out in big words and try and print them onto coloured paper. I find that because I'm dyslexic, I have to have big words and on coloured paper, it really helps me to when I'm reading out things or if I have to obviously do a presentation, which I don't think I've done since I was a teacher. I've done little bits of introducing for talks and things, but never properly. Anyway, she's calling me now, better go. <laughs> Love this building. It is so cool. Heart shaped handbags. Oh, yes, there is heart shaped handbags. It's very nice. These mugs, they're nice, aren't they? These mugs are nice. Yeah. We've just been Primark home, they've got some great things. They're nice. Tills has got her new uh, jacket on. Do you want to show us your jacket? Zara number. It looks great. I love it. Like this. Yeah, they're sweet, aren't they? Well, th this is just like the one we just saw. Four pounds. That's quite cool. Do you like that? Yeah. We're looking for things for a shelf. Those mugs are one pound. I feel like I've got to go and get one of those mugs now. What's one pound? A mug that was around here. There were these ones that are up on the poster here. Oh, I like the mug. Yeah. Watch the baskets a second. Oh, they've got the blue ones here. Here we go, these ones. Quite like those. Tills, these ones, do you like them? I haven't found a, a jug yet. Let's on your shopper shopping trip. Do you think he's enjoyed it? It's not my first one. My first one with us, really. 
together. A proper one, a proper big one. There's a little one, this was a proper one. Let's go up this way. I love this building, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at all the things on the roof. just finished the talk and it was really good. I absolutely loved doing them. I'm slightly nervous actually, I'm not gonna lie. When I first went in, I was like, oh God, well, she couldn't do this. Um, but it was really nice group of ladies who like asked great questions, um, were like really keen to like learn. Um, it was really nice. I like meeting people who are like creative and obviously who love Instagram and, I quite like teaching bits about it, you know, that I've learned along the way. So yeah, it was really nice. Uh, Chelsea, who runs PIA, which you can find over on Instagram, she's got a website too. I'll put a link to her below. She, she's just really nice. She's just a lovely, warm, kind person. Um, so it's great to work with her. She's given me some flowers and a little bag of things. I'm not sure what's in it. I'm now in Waitrose car park though. I'm heading in, cause I need to get some props for a photo shoot I'm doing this week. Um, and I thought it'd be nice to go to Waitrose. We haven't really got one near us and I'm in Harrogate. And so I thought I'd pop in, go and see what they've got on offer. I never really go to a supermarket because I always just buy online. Um, so I'm quite excited to go in and have a little look around. I want to, if I can, find a jug. I want to do some content for spring and summer coming. And I'm, I've got this jug in my head but I don't know if I'm gonna find it in here we've got lots of lovely flowers outside so I'm gonna go and get some of those yeah and see what's in there so I'll take you with me I've left the talk early so it's going on pretty much all day and I probably could have sat there all day and talked but I thought do you know what it's Sunday I need to get back to all the family who are they've all gone to rugby so they should be back soon and then I need to help cook the roast that's a lie, I'm not gonna help cook the roast. I'm just gonna sit and wait for the roast to be cooked. Anyway, um, I will speak to you uh, later on. Um, I'm gonna take you in here now. So let's go and see what they've got.
update on the bathroom. It's not, it's a tiny bathroom. I'm not sure if I can even count it as a bathroom. Shower room, so we've got the sink and the toilet then behind me. He's been working on this all afternoon, so he seems to have stuck this, whatever this is, on it. I'm not quite sure what this is. Over this bit, use these, I don't know, screws or something in there, probably to go on the batons that he's put on. And he seems to have sort of stuck it together. I don't really know what he's doing. And then, I'm not sure what's happening here, that seems to be left. But he's done all he can do now until he gets the tray, which should come this week. So, I think we're slowly making progress. Uh, but I'm pleased we will one day have a shower that we can use because for the last three years we've not been able to use this shower right next to our bedroom. So, looking forward to that. I am going to end this vlog here. Um, I'm going to go and sort out all the washing and the school uniform and everything else that I've got to do for tomorrow. So, I will be busy doing that so I will leave you. If you haven't liked this vlog, please click the like button and also subscribe to it if you haven't already and i will see you next week with hopefully more progress in this room